Welcome to my channel, Planner with Maserati. I am going to be doing another update. So this is part two update of the um, reading the Bible in a year. I mean in three years. I'm going to move this candle so I can turn the page. So I am going to update the notebook. It's not going to be part of the reading plan. It's going to be part of my faith section. And so I'm going to show you the pages that I have. I'm going to cut pages with you, probably terribly, but I will cut pages with you. So with this project, you're going to need the paper that you print out. I'm going to tell you where to get it from. And then tape or if you uh, print it in sticker paper, why I didn't print it like that. I wanted to make sure it was going to print my printer with the color because this is actually in color. I printed it black and white. And with that, I'm just going to tape it in. And I have plenty of tape in my room, so I have enough tape to tape. So let's begin with this project. With a big thumbs up, please subscribe and hit that post notification bell. And I do have other ones that I'm going to show you and where I got this from. So I cannot, you know, link it because it's not mine, but I can show you where you can get it. All right, this one I already cut yesterday, and you can see it was terribly cut. Which is okay, it's just the last page I think really went wonker, bonkers, wonker, whatever. Uh, let me see if I can just trim it just a tad bit more. Just on top so it's not looking like it's a triangle. Well, I just butchered it. My scissors butchered it. Butchered it. So this is the How to Study the Bible Verse Mapping Guide for Beginners. So one you step, once, first step is to choose a verse. Um, so the steps, choose a verse, observe, interpret, and apply. That's your verse mapping. And then, let me, I'm holding all these pages. Okay. And then choose a verse, which is actually your first step, which is number one. So choosing a verse. So pick a verse that pops out in your reading or a favorite verse. Pray and ask God to guide you, teach you the truth, give you understanding, let you be alert to the Holy Spirit and I'm going to tag her with an at um, and I'll put it in the description I gotta find out the name it's in these pages I cut this one off <clears throat> word studies oh wait teach you the truth guide you give you understanding let you be alert to the Holy Spirit number two is observe so you have observe did I cut off three and four or is it just three and four is no okay here so these two I think go together yeah okay so these two go together and then this is the last one which I guess goes with I don't know where this one goes but anyway and then two is observe right Write the verse in multiple translations. So you don't want to do it just in one. Get a couple of different translations. Word studies, background information, context, cross-reference. And then gather multiple Bible translations of the verse. So write a verse in multiple translations. Here's A, B, C. Now it makes sense. And so you want to gather multiple. I'm getting a lot of messages. Gather multiple translations. Bible translations of the verse you are verse mapping and observe the difference in the word choice choices at least three additional ones I recommend on NLT NIV and ESV I use NIV a lot and I think NLT is the new or is this the yeah so this is the NLT so this one's my NLT and then you see me always using the NIV and I have the ESV too and then my primary study version is King jo uh, King James Version. So her study book is King James. But she recommends... So this is her first book she reads from, the King James Version. Then she'll recommend these three. So as we flip the page, it is... Okay, so the way she has it is... Okay, so this is the next one. Because it's ABC. So A is the word study, which is what she was talking about. Word studies is B. A was write the verse, which is here. B, because this is number two, word study. 
do word study on words that differ in the multiple translations. Get the Strong's number. So you're going to get the Strong's number. You're going to look at the part of the speech. Look up words on the Blue Letter Bible app, so the BLB app, to find the word in the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. So C is background information, which is C. So do you see how it's going? One is here. So these are your steps. Choose a verse, observe, interpret, apply. That's your steps. So one is choose the verse, which is step one. And then here is step two, which is write the verse, which is letter A. And in step two, you have word study, which brings this page in now. Now it's making sense. <clears throat> so do a word study. And again, I already read that out too. So C is background information. You're going to go with C, background information. And for background, you want the author of the book, recipients of the book, literary style of the book, when was the book written, pre-fail, pre-flood, after Mosaic Law, um, Christ's earthly ministry, after his resurrection, after his resurrection, resurrection, or after Pentecost. D is context. So there is D. And with context, you want to make sure we keep things in context of the text. Who is speaking? Who are the recipients? Who is this, who is this about? Any figures of speech being used? What is the subject and where are they? And then E is find cross-reference. So again, there's E, cross-reference, references. A cross-reference is a verses a verse or verses that has similar theme or topic. I was already cannot speak right now. God brings to mind blue letter Bible or study Bibles. This is, I think, uh, a book, if I'm not mistaken. This is the app. I don't know if this is an app. And then study Bibles. So now we're going to go into three. Interpret. Interpret to explain or tell the meaning of of take your observation and explain the meaning of the scripture that would be three four to put to use especially for some practical purposes to bring into action to put into operation or effect how do i apply this to my life things to ask is there any sin to forsake is there any promise to claim is there any command to obey is there any truth to believe and what do I need to do differently or change to bring into action this word of God into my life? And last one is prayer. So you want to, so prayer, repent, claim, repent, claim, praise, give thanks. What is God saying to me right now in this season I am in right now? And then it says, I pray this God encourages you to dig deeper in God's word. I pray to continue to grow in the grace and the knowledge of the Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray you grow in God's word and he give you understanding, knowledge, and wisdoms in all things in Christ. And the person is the word nerd. I think it says in Christ, amen, or something like that. It got cut off by the way I was cutting. And it was the word nerd. So it's this size that prints for me. But the paper is a regular 8.5 by 11. So we're going to go ahead and put this before I study the Bible. Hopefully I have enough pages. This one, or should I put it? I'm going to put it towards more towards the back. Only because I have all this free paper. Not because of any other reason. But we're going to start it here so that it makes more sense. Because clearly that did not make sense to me when I was first doing it. Okay, so I'm going to make sure this page is correct. I need just to trim off a little bit on the top. So I'm going to trim off just a little bit. Because I didn't know if I was going to put it in there or not. My cutters are not the best. So hopefully I didn't trim extra words off. Okay, so this should make more sense, right? Yeah, this is pretty good. I'm going to trim just a little bit of this line on this side. 
just so it doesn't curl on me. You can see my cutting skills is terrible. And I can't find my cutting board. Okay, there we go. Now we can work with it. So again, we're going to skip this page. You're probably like, no, the candle. I got it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put this one here. I'm going to lay this flat, as flat as I can get it. And I'm going to start taping down. I'm only going to tape the sides down. I'm not going to worry about top nor bottom. Oh, wait, i got to worry about the sides first. Okay, so I'm going to flatten it as best as I can. I am terrible with tipping in it as well. So you're not going to see a clean edge, that's for sure. And this ink is literally from, I think, what I... Oh, it's coming off though. Where I pulled it off from. And there is a little bit on top that I'll trim off in a minute. I just want it to be straight on the side. I may have to flip the other one over. There we go. So there's that. I can t like just leave it like this as a book, which I think I'm going to do. Let me get the smaller scissors. I have more pages to show you too as well. So this might be like a little bit longer than it should be as a video. You can see what I'm doing, right? Yeah. And then I just yank it off. Okay, so I still have now a page to write with. I'm going to do the same thing to this side. More like taping it here. So like when I put it here, I'm going to tape it like this. So it's more onto this page. That way I can get like three pages into one section, if that makes any sense. But I do want to make sure they're both kind of lined up together. Okay, so I just use a big old piece. This time I'm going to try to work clean. And then once I do that, there you go. So now when I open the book, it's like a little booklet inside once I tape it completely down. Somehow I taped... Oh, I taped this piece down. Okay. So let me take this piece off. Okay, we'll leave that onto the side. Because I actually grabbed an extra piece. Okay, there we go. So you can see where it's going to be like a little booklet. So the next pages, I'm not going to do that to the beginning. So this book is going to be fat when I get done. I like to have an informational book so that I can just bring it every year, year to year. Because this is going to be a three-year book. So this is going to last me, you know, it should last me like three years, right? So here you go. So you see it. It's like a little book opening. Opening. And then this one, I'm going to take off here. I'm going to actually have to put it on this side. So it's going to be this way. See what I'm saying? Like, when you flip your book. See, I'm terrible with taping. I should have just did the double-sided. Oh, I should have did it the other way so it opens up like a book. I'm going to tape these two together. Okay, so bring this one down. And then I'm just going to take a piece of tape. And bring these two together. I'm kind of going to like seal it. Hopefully it works. So either way you flip it. And I got a piece of hair in it. No, I don't know what that is. So see. So when you flip it, you go straight to the next section. It's an easy way to tip, tip in. And if you do it neatly, like Maserati did not, 
you wouldn't have this problem. See? And now you can just flip. You could technically make it a pocket because it is pocket worthy. Just tape this piece and you have a pocket. Cool, huh? Okay, so let's bring in the others. And I think I'm just going to flip so you can see what they are. So how to study the Bible again. It's inductive Bible study. So this was the verse mapping. Let me get to my page. I'm going to put a clip here. So I know where it's at. Okay, I'm going to clip it to this page. And then I'll know exactly where it's at. Okay. So this is, all the way, verse mapping for beginners. That was the first one we just did. Now we're going to do this one. I'm just going to show it to you. How to study the Bible, inductive Bible study. I'm not going to read them all to you. You could just screenshot it if you like. But this is the steps. Pray and choose a book of the Bible study, observation, interpretation, application. Pray and choose, steps of observation. And then again, it does that read a book. Um, so we're going to flip it over. Gather background inf information. Read and mark text while comparison translations. Word studies and research. My printer did not do pr uh, back and front. So that's why I have all these pages. Keeping things in context and find cross references. So that's all that. Then you're going to get into consult other resources and interpretations. I did not print. She has a lot more. So it, no, it just says in Christ. Andrea, the word nerd is where I got this from. So this one and the other one is the same place. And this is the application. I'll read this one to you. How to apply this to my life. Things to ask. Is there sin to forsake? Is there a promise to claim? Is there a command to obey? Is there truth? Or believe to believe what do I need to do differently or change to bring into action this word of God into my life what is God saying to me right now in this season I am right now prayer repent claim praise give thanks and then here is just an easier word study so this is just the actual word study so choose a word from her verse from a from a verse so it'll tell you that it's more like what po what pops out to you when you're reading research and definition and this is an actual word study so this one i got um from watching her youtube video and then she has a whole bunch of other stuff verse mapping she has um prayer she has like little boxes and you could put people the prayer and the for the people so i'm going to cut these out and then put them in here and then i'll do a separate video showing you if i add more to this book or not but for now this is what i'm going to show you and again it is the word uh the word nerd so and this is where i got it from not this this is her gmail but the word nerd she's on youtube and that's where i found her I watched her videos and that's how I got it. So thank you for watching. I don't know if I'll make this into a book or not into here because it is kind of cute that you could just turn to this page and you like basically have a book, a little pamphlet in here. You could actually tip it in where this page can, you know, you could tape it here and have it stick out. You could do that. I might do it with this page so it's not too bulky. But yeah. This is what I did. This is what I've been working on. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up. And I will talk to you in the next video. Again, go check out her study. She has a bunch of free resources for you. And I will put her at in the, in the pin. In the comments below pinned. And then I'll have like at word nerd in the title. So that you know exactly where to go. Thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.